welcome to Trading the Market. Before I get stuck into this video, let us introduce myself. My name is Billy and I'm the newest member of the Trading the Market team. And as you can probably guess, I'm a proud Jody from Newcastle. Way I man. I've been trading on and off for years and I struggled to carve out a profitable journey in sports trading. That all changed when I found TTM. I followed their strategies, worked hard on my own mindset and began to stick to strategy rules. With the help of Mark and James over the last two years and working on my own self-discipline, I have become a profitable sports trader and this now provides me with a passive income and I'm now on my own journey to becoming a professional sports trader. Last year I became a moderator in the TTM Discord and have helped to grow TTM behind the scenes to what it has become to this day. Having helped grow TTM and become a profitable trader, the TTM admin offered me the chance to join them and I couldn't resist, so here I am. Football trading is my bread and butter, but I also enjoy trading tennis. In the future, you'll see us share many of my own trades and strategies in upcoming videos. But enough about me, let's get into the real reason you're all here. In today's video, we're going to look at a strategy I love and use pretty much every day in my trading portfolio, the Leap of Fortune strategy. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first up, let's take a look at Sports IQ and have a look at the strategy itself. If you're a pro member with Sports IQ, You'll have access to an ever-grown list of trading strategies you won't find anywhere else. And this is where you'll find the Leap of Fortune strategy, with the full write-up and how to use it, and set of filters to help you execute it. You need to make sure the odds are above 2.0 for both score lengths to secure a profit when a goal is scored. This in itself is a great strategy, but if you're fortunate to place your trade and have a very early goal, with the knowledge there could be a very favourable amount of injury time, you could then re-enter the markets by splitting your total profit into four and use 50% of your profit by placing a further two 25% trades on the next two possible score lines. It's a very simple strategy and one I've been having a lot of success with using the pre-loaded filters within the database. This strategy also has a link to import the filters straight into your strategies. Let's backtest this strategy now. As you can see, this has a 42.5% strike rate, but with odds available for the last 10 minutes, this can be very profitable. Now we have the basis of the strategy mapped out, let us show you the leap of fortune in action. First up is the match between Bushon FC and Jernam Dragons in the South Korean K-League 2. And I'm pretty sure I've just messed both of them team names up. The score is currently 3-2 to Bushon with 77 minutes played. The next two possible scores to back are 3-3 in any other home win. The market only has £750 matched. As the match is 3-2, we'll be back in any other home win at 4s and the 3-3 at 7s. I've requested these prices as the price will drift out and I'll get matched. I've offered £5 on any other home win and £5 on the 3-3. I have me £5 matched at 4s for the any other home win with £15 profit and £2.89 matched on the 3-3 for 17.34. I'm just waiting for £2.11 to be taken and I'll be fully matched. I don't seem to be getting matched so I'll reduce the price down to 6.4 and press the refresh button 572 times for no reason whatsoever. Boom, it worked. Now I'm fully matched. Boom! 85th minute and the Dragons score. What I like about this trade is as you bat one scoreline above on both sides. So if the game had been 1-1, I would have been batting 2-1 and 1-2. And with a goal, one trade would go my way and the other would be a straight loss. In this trade, I backed any other home win. And as the away team scored to make it 3-3, the trade is still active. It's like winning on both sides. This strategy also matches the live draw dividend which you can find in the strategy database. So I'm going to lay the draw for 1.4 for £10. Then I put a request in to lay at 1.2 for 20 quid. Going back over to the correct score market, I'm going to place the lay on the 3-3 to remove any liability and place me in a winning position. After another 611 clicks on the refresh button later, I finally got matched and have an average lay odds of 1.27 for 8 quid. Just need a goal now. Both bets have been matched on this one. 
and Betfair has been suspended for a while. I'm actually watching on Bet365 and I can see there's a VAR decision on a potential penalty. Looks a no-brainer to me, so fingers crossed, we'll get the penalty and the goal. Penalty! Let's see how long it takes for these lot to stop throwing handbags and let them take the penalty. Come on son, smash us in the back of the net, Alan Shearer style. Boom, goal, bottom right corner. Never in doubt, and that spot kick has sent me into a tidy profit. Bloody way I man. It shows you can apply more than one strategy to a match. This leaves me in profit on the match odds market and the correct score market. If you like seeing the live trading, let us know in the comments and I'll keep recording me live trades. And if we get loads of likes, subs and comments, I might even trade live on YouTube for you. Nothing left to see except, I've been Billy, this is the Leap of Fortune and we are all trading the market. The home of sports trading. Until next time, happy trading.